Well, things have been getting heated between the public libraries in Toronto and Kansas City. Their poetic Twitter battle has gone viral worldwide attention in recent days, and each side is throwing some serious literary heat, though. So it's time the two teams settle their slugfest in the real world. We've been having such fun following along with them that we thought we'd invite both of the libraries, the first ever World Series of Literary Showdowns, right here with me in our in our studio this morning. On the right of your screen in Kansas City, Liesel Christman, who is the social media manager at the Kansas City Public Library. Good morning, Liesel. Good morning. And home team, Vickery Bowles, who's the city librarian of the Toronto Public Library. And Vickery, great to see you two here in Toronto. <laughs> Thank you so much. This is so much fun, this war of the words. And it actually started in KC. So, Lidl, let's begin with you. Where did this idea come from? Well, um, last year we had a lot of fun um, uh, playing with the San Francisco Library during the World Series, so we thought we would try it again. And this year it's just been so much more popular. We're so <laughs> surprised by the response. Well, no wonder, because you've been, you've been, you know, it's been, these have been terrific. It's called Book Spine Poetry. So mm -hmm. you got the idea from that, and here's the first thing that you threw down. You threw down the gauntlet. We're going to bring it up for our viewers. We're going to go through all the ones as we go back and forth. Canada, sorry you lost what bluebirds do. <laughs> so that was the first one. That's where it started. Did you think of that one, Liesl? Um, I actually worked with our director of reader services, Katie Stover. She put together a bunch of different ones, and we kind of just distilled it down to that. Okay, so that was number one. Then you didn't hear back from anybody, did you, Liesl? Not for a little while. I was starting to get worried. Ooh. Like, worried why? You thought what? Well, it just wouldn't be nearly as much fun if it was just us. Well, and, and so wait, I'll get to you in just a second, Vickery. So before you got a response from Toronto, we got this second one, which was kind of fun. Tonight's reading for the Blue Jays, The Heart Does Break. Is that it? <laughs> Tell me about that one, Liesl. Um, that that was definitely an office project. We had been looking for books and stumbled across that one. Was worried it might be just a little too harsh, but we tried to soften it with some uh, nice hashtags. Yeah, a hashtag love well. you, Toronto. Hashtag may the best team win. <laughs> okay, so there the gauntlet. As I said, it was it was fully and 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 completely tossed. In comes Toronto, and and Vickery. What was? You, let's look at your first one on the screen with us tomorrow, right uh, right now. Let's talk about your first one. Right. So uh, so we just you know we said warning Kansas City, it, it ain't over till it's over, and uh, so that was that was an important response to them. What well, Yogi Berra? You can't do better Yogi than Berra. quoting Berra. <laughs> exactly. Hey, Vickery, number one, is this hard to find? I mean, how long does it take to find books that, that actually tell a baseball story that you can put together in that poetic way? Well, you kind of figure out what you want to say, and then you um, can search your catalog and find books with uh, those the, the words you need in the title. Okay, I like that. Mm -hmm. Is that how you work too, Liesl? Is that what you do? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we did a little bit of that. Uh, we've got a table full of books right now that all have something to do with baseball, winning, <laughs> losing. Blue so Jays. Kansas City is yeah. as into it as Toronto is into it right now. All mm -hmm. right, so there's Toronto's response, and in comes for you, Liesl, tis but a flesh wound. Tell me about this one. Uh, it's just one game. Uh, we're still ahead in the series, so okay. we're looking forward to tonight. <laughs> okay, so it said the bad guys won, home team advantage, forever blue, because of course Kansas City has a lot of blue in, in their in their mm -hmm. you know logo and, and uniform as well. Mm -hmm. So that was after the game five defeat, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Then comes back to Vickery very proudly here after that nice win by Toronto. Let's go through your response there, there Vickery. So, um, uh, uh, the it's comeback. Up on the, yes, the comeback was... Um, the comeback, uh, blue. I'll read it for you because okay, I can't expect you. you to read all of these. The no. comeback, Blue Jays blow out the Royals and then come together. Now yes. explain that to Liesl Vickery. She might not know that. Well, there's a hashtag, come together, that's very popular with the Blue Jays and it's really the whole... Um, uh, support for the Blue Jays isn't just in Toronto, it's across Canada. So it's real. Everyone's come together to support the Blue Jays. <laughs> that is just perfect. I mean, this goes on and on. We're at number six now. We, yeah. This is your. This is the sixth tweet in this uh, contest. And that's yours, Liesl. Just a little warm-up for tomorrow, which is, of course, tonight in Game 6. Here it is. Mm -hmm. Oh, Canada, say goodnight to the boys in blue. How did you ever find that one, Liesl? Uh, that was actually one of our librarians. Uh, he... We crowdsourced, asked for suggestions, and that one came in, and it was just perfect. Like, that couldn't be a better book. Oh, Canada, say goodnight to the boys in blue. Say hello, Kansas City Barbecue. 
which is hilarious. Do you, <laughs> do you know what your mayor has offered? Have you heard that part of the story, Liesl? Yeah, they've got a, a bet going with some uh, barbecue and yeah. beer, I think. Yeah, yeah the, Kansas City's mayor has offered barbecue, and then our mayor, John Tory, in Toronto has offered craft beers, and I think you get those regardless of the outcome of the series. But anyway, a book that's perfect in this. Okay, so then, 7 o'clock this morning, and Vickery, you throw down the latest. Let's yes. look at that. This was just this morning. This is breaking book spine poetry news. That's right. Uh, oh, Missouri, you're mistaken. We get the win, you, and we get the win. You get the bacon. <laughs> <laughs> So that, that really refers to the fact that Crosby Kemper, who's the director of Kansas City Public Library, and I have a bit of a wager on ourselves. What's your and wager? Our wager is, um, well, Kansas City Barbecue uh, from Crosby and uh, pea meal bacon on a bun from me. So that's that's kind of a reference to the bacon. Okay, so you've got your own <laughs> side bet going on. We and that do. One, I mean, that one actually rhymes. That just takes us to a whole different level. Well, yes. Well, well you know, K Kansas City has really challenged us. They've had some great, very creative, and uh, they've started with a poetic uh, tweet, so we have to keep up. <laughs> exactly. All right. So have you, have you got a response yet? We actually, in response to all of yours, did you see the one from my wonderful morning team, Graham and Meg and Patrick no, and also Lily? Well, well, let me pull it up for you. I don't know if you can see it on your monitor, but it says, what's the matter with Kansas? This is a book we just happened to have in our newsroom, Liesl. What's the matter with Kansas? It's our game. Warrior nation daring to dream. Come back. No time to cry. So we've put it all together, just the books <laughs> we have here, uh, to, to add to your fun. And can we expect another one from you today, Liesl? Oh, you'll definitely be getting a response. <laughs> <laughs> okay, when, when will we see this? Because we've got to tune in. Um, I'm probably here within the next hour. Oh, okay, okay. Well, we'll get to that. But listen, tell me about the impact this is this is having in both of your cities, Vickery. Uh, what about in Toronto? Well, it's just a really wonderful because, uh, you know, what can be better than books and support for a sports team like the Blue Jays? So it's a winning combination, and people have been so engaged by it. It's really been exciting. The, the uh, social media activity has been tremendous. We've had people coming up to us on the street talking to us about it, and um, so we're having a lot of fun with it. Maybe people who might not even darken the door of a library discovering it through social media and thinking, hey, these library people are pretty cool. I don't, yeah. I don't know. Well, that's right. We use social media a lot, as does uh, as do other library systems. So we like to be able to engage people any way we can. And this has been a really fun and creative way to do it. For and sure. uh, so we're really enjoying doing this with our Kansas City colleagues. And, and Lisa, has it been a similar impact for your library? Very, very good response. Uh, here in Kansas City, Missouri, everybody, of course, loves the Royals and loves the library. So when you bring the two together, it's just magic sometimes. <laughs> well, listen, I don't know. I, I can't look to the end of the series, but uh, somebody is going to be facing the New York Mets in the World mm -hmm. Series. And That's right. is this possible that we may see this continue? Um, well, maybe. I Oh, it's go just ahead, say, no, I have seen Lisa. a little bit coming out from New York. So. Oh, yes. New York's already chirping. Are they already? They're already waiting for the next contender. So you might be ready, Lisa. And Vickery, would you in Toronto if that's okay? Oh, the case? absolutely. We're we're ready to go. Okay. <laughs> hey, listen, Liesl, you, I, somebody was posting this. I didn't realize you already have done a response this morning. Uh, so we did. A, we, here very, it is right quick. here. Okay, here's a quick one. Well, let's take a look at this. This says, hey, bat a bat a swing. Whose game is it anyway? Read it in Weep Canada, the royal year. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I just love it. I, apparently, how many books do you have in your library, Vickery? Uh, we have over 10 million. We could keep this going for some time. We could keep we? it going for some time. It's a, it's a new <laughs> form of poetry. <laughs> it's terrific. It's been such fun to meet you both. Thanks for being good sports, and thanks for engaging people in such a, an interesting way, both for literature and for the Jays and the Royals. Thank good you luck so in much, Game Heather. 7, both of you. Thanks.